welcome earth sign this is your love radiant i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um earth signs Whew. let's see what's coming up for you baby girls and boys i want to say thank you for being here sorry for the lateness of the reading but we are all busy in our lives all right let's see what is coming up in love remember if you are a member of the channel you can go pick up your extended readings I hope you're all okay relationships are not easy but we just have to learn to work with each other okay so um i hope you guys are doing well with the lockdown um whoever is out um trying to work on your relationships um if it's ending it's ending let it go let it go because uh, sometimes we all down on relationships and we need to just let go and let god um, remember to like and share and if you want to become the extended of this reading you have to become a member using that link and to subscribe use this link and to notification use this link please share 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 these videos because it, it is going to be important okay so let's see what's coming up for love for you guys I see whoever that was working against you whatever outside forces that was affecting you and your relationship this is going to be over in this time span and this is good okay some of you were dealing with some Aquarians it is over and you're moving on so whatever that has been transpiring um, some of you were dealing with an Aquarian this person was using love magic and using negative forces to ap apply to your relationship I see some of you are dealing with a queen of cups whoever this queen of cups is is a Pisces cancer a scorpion this person was using negative forces it is over your break you have break this then I see love is coming in some of you I see you could be divorcing okay and um, some of you could be divorcing a Pisces cancer or a scorpion woman then I see um, there is no new start for this woman whoever this woman is I see some of you decided to end the relationship with this woman and to let it go I see influences and the influences is caused by this woman in a corporation institution and I see you're going to be um, just moving away from this person I see a lot of you working on your relationships whatever is transpiring um, you're definitely working on your relationships and this is good it is a time especially um, you're overcoming some issues and some situation that was applying to your relationship I see some of you are going to be victoriously overcoming a situation with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion if you are in a relationship with this person um, you're going to be working on your relationship with this person and overcoming whatever issues that was thrown at you in the, this relationship so you're going to be victoriously overcoming a situation let's say that there was some conflicts between you and this person there were people who were intervening in your relationships you're definitely going to be overcoming these issues some of you a Gemini wants a new start but I don't think you're open up to this energy at this moment maybe in the future but at this moment I see you're kind of waiting um, for the dust um, to settle down however the, that is happening and transpiring in your world some of you are really having a horrible divorce with a a woman a Pisces cancer a scorpion woman I think that some of you realize that this woman was using love spell or if you were seeing this woman on the side she was creating some issues in your relationship and you're seeing this now some of you who were in a relationship with an Aquarian person I see you're definitely going to be ending this because it's no longer working um whoever was in a relationship with a Pisces cancer a scorpion you're letting it go whoever is in a relationship with a Leo you're going to be overcoming the situation and you're going to be letting go of this relationship so let's go in and look so um, Taurus is you were in a relationship with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra or um, you Taurus is, could have been affected by some negative forces that was coming at you and it is outside forces that was inveigling in your relationship so you Taurus women are going to be finding out that some outside negative forces is inveigling in your relationship but I see that this is going to be over then we see a tower moment is coming up on a woman 
whoever this woman is this woman is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra I see this woman is going to be removed out of your life so you women 50 years and older if there was a third party in your life you're going to be removing this person out of your life now I see that some of you were married to um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra your divorce sin your divorce is going to be um, ending and this is a good then I see some regrets you ladies who find out that because of negative forces that was what that intervene and end your marriage and you're going to be finding this out it's as if someone you could be calling a psychic or calling someone and finding out that negative forces someone use negative forces to end your marriage I see um, you're standing your ground some of you were in your head about a Pisces cancer or scorpion woman if this was a person what was um, inveigling your relationship and affecting your relationship and you're going to be finding out the truth that this lady has been using negative forces yep yep sorry ladies and gentlemen but it is here you're going to be finding out that a Pisces cancer or scorpion woman you were seeing or you have left or you were seen part-time as break up your marriage okay I see a lot of you um, is working on some issues and some situation if you're divorcing you're definitely going to be receiving the the what you ask for and it's going to be good I see you're going to be overcoming oh my god whatever that um, you were going to like an horrible divorce it's going to be finally over and you're going to be receiving what you were fighting for so this is good I see you and your partner um, you and your husband or wife is going to be overcoming a lot of issues that other people had created for you and your husband I see definitely a divorce is coming in and you're going to be um, winning um, this this divorce was like an or of a divorce um, and you are going to be finally whatever you are fighting for you're going to be receiving this and you're going to be coming out of this divorce really really happy and I see some of you wanted a new start with an, um, um, but um, this new start you could have wanted a new start with <laughs> sorry <laughs> with a Sagittarian okay but um, you could have divorced the Sagittarian but the Sagittarian wants to come back okay and the Sagittarian is someone that is from a past life the Sagittarian um, and you could be soulmates and twin flame the Sagittarian was from a past life I see that someone has created some negative forces between you and the Sagittarian so let's say you were married to a Sagittarian and someone um, um, definitely use negative forces to, to end the marriage between you and the Sagittarian and I see that some of you are going to be finding it out just like out of the blues people are going to be finding out what they have been doing um, and because it was kind of weird how you guys just divorce so yeah I see the energy of negative forces and it's um, the eight, a, a Virgo um, Virgos be careful of uh, um, if you're divorced or you had an ex um, be careful because this person is sending negative forces to you this person wants to ruin you Virgo so be aware Virgos okay I see um, a situation where there is some negative forces and I see you Virgos are going to be walking away from a relationship okay or from a marriage okay so some very um, difficult situation with a Sagittarius but this is going to be ill because it's as if some of you were in a relationship with a Sagittarius it just ended and you guys are going to be finding out why it has ended how it has ended some of you think that there was outside influence yes there was so let's take a look um so a lot of you women are going to be finding out it's as if you're in your head as if something isn't right um, someone is affecting my relationship and that is true some of you are going to be realizing that if you were in a relationship same-sex relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion this person is very deceptive 
and this person has been using negative forces in order to hold you in this relationship I see you're going to be cutting yourself loose from this person and you don't want to have another start with this person and I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming and coming out of this situation and I see a Sagittarius is going to be helping you I see the end is coming in um, it could be a divorce and an end is coming in I see whatever that was transpiring and affecting you guys with negative forces that was affecting you of not having a relationship or you of your relationship not working this is going to be ending the connection between you women and uh, um, you women are going to be finding out that a Gemini um, or a Aquarian Gemini or Libra has been a part of uh, ruin your relationship or blocking you in a relationship I see some sadness is coming up with some of you and a cancer I see that it's as if this cancer is in their head and this cancer wants to return to you if you had divorced this cancer but it's as if you're like it's good news is going to be coming in where you're going to be overcoming a difficult divorce and you're going to be awarded what you want um i see um some of you are going to be finding out as i said a gemini woman um has done some negativity against you and your partner or you so that you could not have a relationship okay so you were not aware and this is a past life issue is because this gemini person um was was um this person have some um past life issue with you and you weren't aware of this and you are really going to be overcoming this situation because you're going to be learning to protect yourself more in your relationships and protect people around your relationships and um this is very sick if you ask me um this is someone it could have been your mom okay or it could have been your mom friend that you're going to be finding out that your mom or your mom friend has ruined your relationship or your marriage and i see that some of you are going to be finding this out and some of you are going to be standing your ground and thinking jesus woman there is something wrong with you um if you're married to a taurus or an aquarian gemini or libra i see a tower moment this relationship is going to be ending because you're going to be finding out that this person has been using uh, outside forces and negativity in order to affect you i see help is going to be coming in for whoever is having an issue um a divorce issue with um um a cancer i see help is going to come in because you're going to be overcoming these issues so there is definitely a lot that is going on and transpire so let's see the energies some of you were who were in a relationship with an Aquarian you're going to be finding out you had a feeling that an Aquarian was affecting your relationship yes you're going to be finding that out I see new love is going to be coming in new love could be um, coming in for you can for you from cancers okay um, and this is going to be good because this uh this is going to be affecting you guys and you can go with a cancer i see um some of you were in a relationship with a cancer and uh, an aquarian has created some negative energies to block you and this cancer and the cancer is going to be finding out um grimness and it has to do with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra whoever that was in a relationship with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra you're going to be finding out that this person has been um, meddling in negative forces and using negative forces to affect you and your partner so let's say that you had a one night stand with this person and since that you realize that your relationship or your partnership with your in your relationship is over because this person used negative forces I see abundance is coming up I see um, you're going to be happy getting out of a relationship um, with a cancer woman whoever this cancer woman is I see you're going to be overcoming what this um, cancer woman has done to you and you're going to be very very happy this could have been a third party in your relationship finally you got rid of this person I see that you were um, stabbed in your back you with, with your divorce let's say you you divorce there was a divorce and i see that you were stabbed in your back so you could be have uh, divorcing do you gemini's are going to be finding out 
um, that you were stabbed in your back in a divorce or a separation but you're gonna be um, finding this out and resolving the situation okay you're gonna be finding out some of you that your partner stabbed you in your back now you wanted a new start okay um and this new start um um some of you really wanted a new start um it it can come in but if you want a new start with someone who you have known an ex or so you're 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 going back in a karmatic it's as if you're ending a karmatic relationship um with someone so you're going back to someone and by going back to that person you're going to be ending a karmatic relationship and a karmatic shift I see some of you are going to be finding out that a Gemini was very seductive. Some of you could have been in a relationship with a Gemini and you find out that this Gemini was very seductive and this Gemini has interrupt your marriage or your relationship without you even knowing. Um, whoever this person is, is um, sadistic, okay? And it's as if they want you or no one will have you. I see the snake, the energy of the snake and the devil. And I see that some of you are going to be finding out mm, this person I'm in a relationship with. There's something that I can't put my finger on. And um, it's as if this person carries a devil energy or there is a negative forces in this person. And I see you're going to be either cutting the relationship, ending the relationship, or you self are going to be blocking this negative forces. It's as if, because a lot of people are not aware that you can meet people and they have negative energies in them or with them or their um their spirit guides are very negative and you can feel that because it's as if you saw when you begin with them like your life was um flowing and then you begin with someone and and and, and all of a sudden your life just and you realize whoa and i think that is just a karmic relationship the butterfly comes out and you're going to be victoriously victorious in your relationship in, in healing your relationship bringing back your relationship whatever that was transpiring between you and another person and there was negative forces it's as if you're going to break the negative forces that is in this person or around this person and you're going to be blocking it's as if you find out it's as if you go in meditation or you go in the dream time and you find out how to block this negative energy that this person is carrying because it's affecting you in your you okay so this is um it is it is as if, as if it is a period where a lot of you are aware of things in that there is so much things that is going on around you in relationship and you're realizing um um some of you are coming to the realization the, the realization of uh, that there was so much uh, that someone you're in a relationship with is um connected to negative energy or they're using that person um to create a lot of anxieties and negative forces and it's as if that person is connected to negative forces and that person, because you're in a relationship with and you're sleeping with that person, is ruining your life. And like all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, hey, but how did this person return in my life? And you're going to start asking questions and you're going to be start looking at things and you're going to be finding out. Okay. So um, that is a lot because a lot of you are going to be like, Jesus, whoa. And um uh, um yeah it could be um yeah whoever this person is works with the mysterious world okay and that's why they bring in like through their sleep time and they bring in these negative forces in your life so um let me get my glasses um my eyes are like tired i don't know about you guys but the energy is so very much heavy for myself i'm so like uh okay so let's see what is coming up so we see um some of you virgos are going to be connecting with a um cancer some of you virgos who are in a relationship with a cancer could be finding out that a taurus is there in your life <laughs> 
but it's okay some of you ladies are going to be finding out of that a Leo and a Cancer has been working against you, okay, for a very long time. So they could be intervening in your relationship without you even knowing. And it's as if you're going to be finding this out. Um, there is really some issues between um, you, Virgos, and uh, a Cancer. I see a tall moment is coming down um, um, for Virgos and Cancer in relationship. There may be an end to your relationship. Mars and Venus, I see some divorce could be coming up with an Aries. I see you're going to be telling an Aries that you're ending the marriage. Um, Capricorns and Cancers, you're going to be having some regrets. Um, Capricorns who are in relationship with cancer, you're going to be having some regrets. You could be divorcing this person, realize that you have to, you know, dish out a lot of money for this person. You're going to be re realizing that this cancer stabbed you in your back. Okay. Um, divorce again is coming up with a cancers. Some of you are going to be finding out who are in a relationship with a cancer that this cancer is seen, um, a Libra. Okay. That this cancer is um, connecting with a Libran. Uranus and Mars and a huge explosive because some of you find out something about your partner. However, this is transpiring and whatever you find out about your partner, a, a huge explosive because you're going to confront this person. Okay. I see, um, happiness, um, and joy, um, because whatever you find out, um, I see a situation with an, um, some of you are going to be finding out if you had a feeling. So if you're married or in a relationship with a cancer, you're going to be finding out that this cancer has been seen, um, an Aquarian and it is a, yes, it is true. But this Aquarian uh, only connected with cancer for money. <laughs> All right. So I see some of you. Um, or going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a Pisces or a Cancer, it is a good move. Some of you are going to be finding out that a Pisces have stabbed you in the back and a Cancer was cheating on you. But you're going to be finding out it's as if all of these things is coming out because everybody's in shutdown. Divorce. I see a divorce is coming up. Um, 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 Capricorns. You could Capricorns and Virgo, you're going to be divorcing cancers. Whatever is transpiring is that you realize that this is a karmatic relationship. So you Tauruses and Virgos, you're going to di really divorce a cancer. You're going to say, yeah, I have it. This is it. It's over. Some of you are going to be finding out that there has been third party in your relationship. And you um, Capricorns are going to be finding out that um, a cancer and an Aries has been meddling in your relationship. You're going to be finding this out, whether they're third parties or whether you were in a relationship with someone and they were seeing a cancer and an Aries, but you're going to be finding this out. It's as if, um, this period is going to give you information. I see that some of you, um, a Sagittarius is still in love with you and this is a karmatic relationship this is someone you have known from past lifetime this person is still in love with you so oh i knew it i didn't want to say it i knew it i didn't want to say it because the king of cups is showing up here and uh, the um, keys on a ring okay but you're going to be successful over this person so some of you are going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a Pisces or a Cancer, it's as if they're, they are um, they are governed by a negative energy, okay? So this is what I was saying to you, um, that some of you are going to be finding out that, and you're going to be wondering, how comes I end up with this person? And how could this person, and this person is being um like um negative forces it's as if they astro travel at nights and they bring in these negative forces with them that create an avoc for you and i see some of you are going to be planning 
to get away from this person because you realize that this is the person either a Pisces or an cancer that you're in a relationship with has negative forces with them that mess your life up that create issues in your life that um, make you feel sick because you're going to be realizing this that this negative forces by this person um because we have the snake um the envy the malicious look over the shoulder the other woman okay so if you're in a relationship with a pisces and a uh, and a cancer they have negative forces within them so let's say um because a whole lot of people ask me this who are in spiritual relationship they find out that their partners are um carrying negative energies okay and it's affecting their life and their world okay and this does affect people uh whew. So I see that some of you are walking away from a relationship um, um, because you find out that if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius or a Aries, you find out that this Sagittarian or this Aries um, is connected together and you're walking away. You're leaving this relationship and um, letting it go. Some of you Virgos could be connecting with a Sagittarian. Um, I see you tr trying to, uh, yeah, I don't know if I really want to be with this person, but I see this person is coming in for some of you Virgos. Um, I would say if a Capricorn go with a Sagittarius, then it's okay. Um, if you're a cup person, then it's okay. So cup persons are people who are coming from one side to another. But I see this, um, um, you're going to be inspired by this person, but be aware of this okay so ladies and gentlemen it's kind of weird and why it's kind of weird is because a lot of people are not aware that sometimes you're in a relationship with someone or sometimes your life is good you start a relationship with someone and then all of a sudden all negative everything that you can think of that is negative is happening to you and when you go back and you look what was going on before you start a relationship with this person and then you realize that this is the person because people have negative energies um people have good energies and it depends on who you are um you can have very positive energies but you pick up negative energies and in the sleep time in the dream times you do pick up negative energies and i see some of you um who are in a pisces in a relationship with a pisces or a cancer i see negativity around this person that is creating and um, and and like creating issues in your relationship but also issue in your life and this is good okay so um I, I think that this is the month that some of you are going to be finding this out so i see some of you are going to be successfully finding out a lot of things about your partner your relationship okay and i see you're going to be successfully healing whatever that there was and breaking and cutting whatever negative energies that there was and it's going to be good because door because of doing that you're going to be um because i see that some of you have a whole lot of blocks that's why you can't have relationships and keep relationships it's because other people have used negative forces to place blocks on you like you wasn't you didn't want to go with someone they created a block so that you can't have a relationship or whatever but I see because what I'm seeing is that the cancer people and the Pisces people work with the unseen and they pick up negative forces. And if you are in a relationship with someone and they're very sexual, OK, and, you know, with a the shutdown, they're not being, you know, connecting, attracted to you. What I'm seeing is that um, they are working with uh, um, negative forces like. They're having sex with um, negative energies and that is creating some horrible situation between you and them and in your life. OK, so be aware because um, people are not aware that uh, like if someone is always sleeping around and they're in the shutdown now, they can't get to see all of these people. So they will connect in the spirit world. And that is not good for you as a woman or uh, or as a man because it affects your life because um they're sleeping with you so their negative energy is affecting you uh, so if you realize that you can't sleep and and all of that you gotta 
um, find a way to break the spell. I love you guys. Namaste. Until next time. Share, share, share these videos. Thank you.